Hello everyone, in this video we're going to have a look at how to use a custom URL for your mini site. So when you log into your dashboard, head over to create mini site and make sure you've actually set your mini site up. So you've added your logo, about information, your colors, uh, added any content in and set up any links and also make sure that your mini site is enabled. So this one is ticked here. You'll also see change URL on this side. This allows you to change the slug of your URL. So in my case, it says ashburleypt. That goes to the end of pdistinction.com. What I'm going to show you today is how you can change this to your own custom URL. So I'm going to change this to fit365onlinecoaching.co.uk. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I do is go to your mini site. Make sure everything looks okay and you're gonna take the URL, URL from the top here. So you're gonna get this and you're gonna copy that and put it onto your clipboard. You can also get this URL here along the bottom and also by clicking change URL, you can also find it here. So three places you can pick up this URL. Then what you need to do is head over to your um, domain provider. So in this case, I'm gonna use GoDaddy. So I'm logged into GoDaddy and I'm gonna to go to my uh, account and I'm gonna go manage domains. So again, this can be any um, domain manager. It doesn't really matter. I'm just using GoDaddy for this example. They all work in a very similar way. So run my domains here, and I'm gonna go and find the one to do, which is this one, Fit365 Online Coaching. I'm gonna click on that. And I want to go now and manage DNS. So whatever I'm looking for, I'm looking for the manage DNS button for that particular domain. So here we go, I'm in my DNS settings. Again, this is GoDaddy's way of doing it. Uh, different domain management systems will have different ways of doing this. But you basically want to scroll down and you're looking for something called forwarding. And you have two options, domain and subdomain. It's domain that you want to use. Go and click the add button and we're going to set up a forwarding. Now, Pitch Extinction uses a secure uh, service, so we need to go onto the drop down menu here and change that to HTTPS. And we're going to go and paste in that URL into this box. Now, make sure you go all the way to the end of this and delete this first bit here, which says HTTPS. Delete that because that's already taken care of here. Then we've got two choices, permanent or temporary. We're gonna use permanent because we want this to be a permanent one. You can use temporary as well, but permanent's the best one because it's better for um, SEO. So Google and stuff will know, or any search engine will know that when this email address comes up, it's permanently being forwarded to this one. Then we'll have settings forward only and forward with masking. We want to select the forward with masking option. And then we can give it a title, we can give it a description. So I'm just going to call this online coaching. Uh, and then again, we can do the same for our keywords. Again, put in any keywords you want to in here. I'm just going to put coaching for this example. Set all that up. Then tick this box here to say update my name servers and DNS settings to support this change. Click save. And that's done. Now this can take anywhere between three minutes to 48 hours to go live. So once that's done, the GoDaddy or whatever the thing will do its job and then come back and check it in a couple of days time, it should divert you straight through to your mini site and it will have your URL at the top. So we'll check back in two days time and hopefully it will have worked. So there we go, we're giving it a couple of hours. I'm gonna come back and check this out now. So I'm gonna go and paste this, paste and go. As you can see, I've got fit 365 online coach not you at the top. And hopefully this works. It should direct us straight through, yep, to the mini site. They can see there's my PTD mini site all set up. But at the top, it does say fit365onlinecoaching.co.uk. Anyway, guys, I hope that helps. Uh, any questions, let me know in the comments below.